Cha 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 cha. What's up? What's up? Cha cha cha. We're gonna talk about the Wind Charger Shark. We got this monster secret dungeon coming up. It might be open by the time you guys are actually seeing this video, but. We have the Wind Charger Shark, Mr. Zephicus. Secret Dungeon is going to be open for, what, three days? Is that how long they're open for? Is it two and a half or three days? It, it wouldn't be two and a half, right? That would be ridiculous. Count to us doesn't do anything ridiculous. Uh, so we got this guy open. Let's see if he's any good. I know his name because I I maxed five, starred an awakened one, and I was like, ooh, I think he's got potential. Okay. Let's take a look at Zephicus, the Charger Shark. I don't even need this window open. Why do I even have this still? We could just minimize that so I could see. Ooh, look at that. Uh, so let's take a look at what he does. Uh, let's, first off, let's take a look at the leader skill. Increase the attack speed of ally monsters with wind attribute by 23%. 23% is for only wind, only wind, but... This opens up a world of possibilities. This opens up, this is arena, this is guild battles, this is raids, this is dungeons, this is scenario, the list goes on and on, this is everywhere. You could do this in TOA. This is a global 23% leader skill for, it's only wind. If it was 23% everywhere, it would be OP for a three star monster. For a nat three, it would be OP. So it's only for, but I love, I love the speed leader for all of these charger sharks. It's really nice. Now, where could you use this? You can use this guy. You can use this speed leader in combination with Bernard. For those of you that built Bernard, uh, which should be almost everyone, right? Unless you have some OP craziness. Uh, Bernard is a staple for a lot of our teams. So this can uh, give you the turn advantage over the enemy if you're using a win team. Uh, you could use your Zephicus leader. You could do uh, Zephicus, Bernard, Shannon, Lucian, right? And you can uh, you can nuke with that for arena. Uh, you can use this as a leader in. I'm pretty sure I did a video. Maybe I did a video with him in uh, Giants B10. I did feed him, but I fed him because I had another one, and now we have the the I fed the the five star max one because um, I had another one. And I was like, man, I gotta make more six stars. I gotta do more videos. So, so that's why I planned on building another one anyway. I wasn't just gonna feed him and not work on him ever again. Uh, so let's see what his first skill is. Performs a lunge attack that damages an enemy while increasing your crit rate for one turn. No, he's an HP monster. I don't think that I wanna build him as HP though. Uh, he's got the crit rate buff here. This is attacks an enemy target, decreasing its attack power and attack speed for two turns with an 80% chance. I think this goes up to 100 when it's maxed. I think this goes up to 100% chance. Now, where is this great? Hmm. He's got elemental advent. He, he decreases attack speed and attack power. Where could this be really, really beneficial? What kind of water monster do we always have to deal with and say, man, this water monster is really, really annoying. His attacks are based on his attack power and attack speed. Theomars? I think so. Theomars. Okay, so this is only a single target attack, but it's really good against Theomars because it basically makes Theomars, as long as he doesn't have will runes, as long as he's not shielded by Chloe's, you know, um, uh, immunity, he's... If you do that, you hit both of those debuffs on Theomars, and Theomars is going to hit for nothing. So, well, not nothing. You mean he's still gonna, he's still Theomars, but you're gonna significantly take his attack power down if you hit Theomars with this. So that's why I was like, ooh, I was, I was very excited about him. I'm like, oh man, I could use this for this and that for that and the other thing for the other thing. So, uh, I like Zephicus for his, uh, for this against Theomars. And then we have Spiritism. Calls upon the power of the sea to increase the attack power and attack speed for three turns. You instantly gain another turn after using this ability. So what is this like? That's like a mini, um, who is that? That's like a mini Tanya. So it's like Tanya Jr. kind of, right? You increase your, but she increases what? Her attack power and crit rate, I believe, or something. What does Tanya do? I have her, what does she do? Uh, increase attack power and crit rate, okay. And Zephicus is like a mini version of that. He increases his attack power and attack speed. Uh, I think this guy could be a good farmer. Uh, amazing farmer, no. Maybe not amazing. Uh, he, I think he can definitely get the job done. 
He increases attack speed, attack power, and then you could put him on. Well, you could put him on uh, probably a lot of different kinds of. Oh man, so many options. But I think he's got potential because he just uh, he's got this that gives himself that buff. He's got his own self buff of attack speed and attack power as well. And I think this could also be good. This drive is also could be good against um, against what against Giants B10. Uh, now let's look at where this uh, or it actually actually this might not be too bad against um, against raids as well. He could be a good attacker for raids. Now he says HP. I don't think he should be ruined HP. I think maybe speed crit damage attack. Uh, you could ruin him with uh, crit damage because he increases his crit rate here. Um, there's a lot of different ways to ruin him. It really depends on where you want to. You could ruin him for violent, but he already has a built-in violent proc here. So you don't need that additional violent proc necessarily. I don't remember what I had on him. I might have had, uh, I might have had Swift on him. But I think uh, I think he's going to be good. I, I would say to rune him similar to similar to Hua, similar to Tower. I know he's not Hua, he's not Tower, but that's the way I would rune him. Uh, and I think he can do crazy things. I think he can be a lot of fun. I'm definitely planning on building one. Uh, I think it's cool that we have we had the fire one last time. I think the fire one's good too. I like these charger sharks, man. I I know I haven't built any, but even if you're looking at the other ones for to to just use this wind one to skill up your other ones, I still think there's a pretty decent uh pretty decent three star secret dungeon. I have do I have all of them? I think I have all of them. I think I have all the charger sharks. So I think I do. I think I do. The other ones are good too. I mean the water one is the I maybe my least favorite. Um Continuous damage. Uh, he would be a good farmer because uh, of his passive. But I like the I like Ignitious. I have him. I should have six starred him first on my. Uh, but he's. I think he should be built as attack too. I think these guys should be built as attack monsters. Honestly, so it says HP. I I would have to disagree with uh, with the way Comtuus says to build him as far as that is concerned because he's got a crit rate buff. He's got an attack power buff. He wants to be an attacker! He wants to kill! He's a shark! He's a shark. He's meant to kill. He's not meant to be an HP. He's not meant to be a fatty HP tank. He's meant to murder everyone. So I think that's what I think, uh... Speed crit damage attacks probably what I go for. I will be building another one of these. I'm building all the sharks. I want to. I want to. I do. Because I... They're so versatile. But I think it's actually... I think he's a pretty good monster. If you guys are looking at him and you're like... Kind of looks good. He might be good for for um for which I'm gonna call it for Giants B10 too. If you're running a Giants B10 team with like Bernard and Shannon and other staple Giants B10 windy monsters, I mean his leader skill. Remember, it's only for wind, but uh, but yeah, for skill ups or for actually building Zephyrus, I don't think that's that's bad either way. Either way, I think uh, I think these Charger Sharks have potential. I think you're gonna see. I think you're gonna see people building them in three-star arena. I think they're gonna Because remember you can't Lucian in three-star arena. You have to use other things So I think these charger sharks are actually gonna you're gonna see that leader skill man I'm I'm telling you right now. You're gonna see that leader skill in three-star arena Whenever it eventually comes out one day. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video Hope it gives you some insight into Zephicus. I like this bad boy. I liked playing with him and and I like the fire one, and I like the other ones as well. I like these Charger Sharks, man. I don't like all three stars. A lot of three stars, I'm like, meh. But the Charger Sharks, I'm like, <laughs> it's just throwbacks to Osiris days. Charger Shark. Charger Shark. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.